the other difference um, that we are going to have from the semester is your seminar would be a kind of proposal seminar. So you're supposed to write a proposal for your research, your thesis, your script C, and that will be uh, taken into this class for uh, giving and taking some suggestions from friends, from me. Okay, so by the end of this semester, then you would be ready with your proposal for your research. So if you have decided to take literature as your script, then go on because this is the first day. Okay, but if you think that, oh, I want to write about English language speaking, then you must uh, change to another class, seminar on ELT. Or if you think I'm going to write about linguistics, then you change to seminar on linguistics. The seminar is especially for students who are going to write a script or want to do research on literature. Okay? That's the difference. So, once again, if you think that you are not going to write about literature in your research or your scripts, then you must join the other classes of seminar. There are seminar on ELT and seminar on linguistics. Why? Because this is the starting point of your research. This is the beginning point of your research. That is writing a research proposal. And the proposal is brought to a seminar. And the seminar will be organized this semester. OK, um, that's the change in seminar classes. So um, I think uh, you have already understood this well. So I just uh, make sure whether you really want to write about literature for your lips or not. Well, um, okay, as usual, I always start my classes with a definition because it is important for you to step on the following um meetings the following meetings would be very um, dependent upon your understanding of the name of this class this class is called seminar and the question is what is a seminar okay there are definitions various definitions in oxford advanced domestic summary of current english for example the definition is very simple a seminar is academic seminar. An academic seminar is a gathering of a group of students under guidance of a teacher uh, discussing a particular topic. Okay. You can open your dictionary. But I try to open another definition from an online source. And this is more complete, the definition is more complete. A seminar may be defined as a gathering of people for the purpose of discussing a stated topic. So the purpose is discussion, okay? So in the future, in the coming weeks, you are supposed to discuss a topic, your topic, your friend's topics, okay? Um, try to discuss them. And discussion means listen to the presentation and try to ask questions if you have questions or try to put forward some suggestions if you think that there is something 
there is something you might suggest or you might also uh, say express your expectation for competing or for um, um, yeah maybe for adding more information or more references to your friends uh, proposals that's discussion that's why when when i at the end of this semester i have to i have to quit you then one of the criteria is your activity in the meetings okay the activity here means that you are supposed to talk okay whether you attend the meeting is uh, um, participant or especially if you attend the meeting is a uh, um, presenter then you must talk a presenter is uh, a presenter's task is to talk not to read right remember a presenter's task is to talk present the proposal to present the topic to the audience and the participants are supposed to listen okay and after listening to the presentation then you may raise a question or suggestions or uh, additional information that's discussion okay the purpose of seminar is discussion about what about a particular topic a stated topic the topic that you all of you try to present and remember the topic is also the topic of your future research your future scripts so once you decide the day you decide your topic and this is it this is your topic of research and you are going to do the research maybe this semester maybe next semester that's up to you but first of all before doing your research you must write a proposal a research proposal okay and today maybe today or this week you are supposed to decide your topic okay first of all literature okay so in this seminar we are discussing literature topics not the other topics but okay but literature plus education how to teach literature in language classes in english language classes um yeah this is also new because we i expect you to not only understand literary works but also expect you to understand how to teach the work such a work literary works in general in english language teaching activities in the future of course but if you already teach them now then you may try to use literary materials for your teaching in my research um last year all the respondents of my research told me that they were very enthusiastic in teaching english language by using literary works they they stated they 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 said that literary works are very good for reading activities and also very good for moral education so this is another um, important aspect of this seminar so beside discussing about the literary work but we also discuss with how to use a literary work in english language teaching okay any comment any question or everything is okay can you yes. my voice clearly so okay, i mean yes so some ronnie 
Uh, so we need to submit our topic today or next week or when? Yeah, uh, let's discuss it later. But I think this week, right? not today. So because to decide the topic is not an easy thing to do, right? You need to read maybe three, four, five, six, seven books or references, journal articles, research reports, okay? Before you uh, really sure, you're really certain that the topic is, or oh, this is my topic. Why? Because I expect that this topic is not going to be changed in the future. Once you decide this topic today, for example, or this week, then this is your topic for your research, for your scripts, okay? So I think it takes time, only, okay? So you need time to collect information, to read uh, report uh, about this kind of research, literary research, and then by reading maybe scripts you too also, you may also read scripts you of your um, uh, friends maybe, or scripts you on the internet. But remember if you read a scripts you, do not use the same topic, right? Because this is the experience when you use another student's topic as your topic, then you would start your research in a very, a very difficult situation. Why? Because your friend has different ideas about the research. They, he or she might have his or her own ideals, his or her own expectations by doing the research, which is, I think, very different from your expectation, from your ideals. Okay? That's why do not just copy and paste someone's topic and use it as your topic. That's a very, very big mistake in starting research. So the best way in doing research, in starting research, in deciding your topic is to try to learn by reading uh, research reports through journals, through reports on the internet. For example, so there are there are thesis, bachelor's thesis um, uploaded in the internet in different links. You can read them, but as a reference, not as a model, right? as a reference, not as an example. Because you must develop, you must create, you must make your own topic. Yeah? Your topic should be under your, or well, should be beyond your capacity. Meaning you must understand exactly what you are going to write, what you are going to research. The, the risk of taking someone's topic as your topic is you trap yourself into someone's thoughts, right? Someone's thoughts. The thought that you might not understand because when that friend or that boy, that girl decided his or her topic, they might have different ideas. Your ideas are different. What you are, what you are going to do, what you are going to write, what you're going to read, for example, you try to do research on a novel, then you must read the novel. The way you read the novel is different from the way how someone reads the novel. Or if you are interested in doing research on a movie, for example, the way you watch a movie is also different from the way someone watches a movie. And the, the, the understanding is also different. Maybe you need to watch the movie once or twice, then you understand the story. 
But someone met me towards the movie five times, six times to understand the story well. Okay? So, that's it. Do not copy this someone's topic. Make your own topic. Read, observe, and then explore, right? If you want to have a suitable literary work, then you must explore. First, you must, you must decide whether you are going to write about a movie, a novel, a play, um, a collection of poetry. Okay, that's, that's up to you. But again, it's very important for you to explore this before you really uh, come to a decision, oh, I'm going to do a research on a movie or on, on a novel or on a play, whatever. Okay, so that's the topic. Uh, deciding a topic is very important because this is very, very influential on other aspects of your research later. Once you decide your literary work, then that will be your object of research for the whole year, for the whole semester. And, you know, um, for example, you decide to, okay, I'm, I'm going to do research on a movie, okay? And you decide to take a particular movie as your object of research, then make sure that you really understand the movie, the story, okay? The story of the movie. Watch the movie several times, okay? And understand well the story, because what happened to your friends in my consultation was they did not really understand and the story of the movie, and they tried to analyze the story of the movie. For example, they decided to analyze, for example, feminism in a movie, the story of a movie, feminism. Okay? It's a simple thing, okay? But, you know, when you come to theoretical review or literature review, then you must be able to describe the theories, the literature. So literature here means the references, not literature in terms of works of art, references. You used to back up your argument and also to develop your methodology. The literature review is used in both ways. First, to support the argument why you choose the topic. And second, literature review is used to develop the methodology, the way how you collect and analyze the data. Okay, so if there is feminism in the story, then it's okay. But how can you know that there is feminism aspects in the story? First, you must understand what is meant by feminism. Okay? So, do not decide the movie in a hurry. Just explore it. Right? Understand the story first. If you really understand Feminism, or oh, feminism is movement of women who struggle for uh, equality in political, sociological, economic, maybe religious participation in society. Then try to find out in the movie, in the story, that there is a struggle of women. Why women? Did the struggle because there was discrimination. So, for 
deciding whether the movie contains elements of feminism, then you must understand that feminism has something to do with discrimination and struggle. And that's the focus of your analysis. If there is no discrimination, all women are equal with men, there is no discrimination among women in a particular city or in a particular country, then there is no discrimination and there is no feminism. Because feminism exists when there is discrimination. Okay, so first try to understand the general theory. Okay, the general theory of feminism. General theory here means the definition. Okay, definition, classification. And then you go to specific theories, criteria of feminism, the types of feminism. And this, this criteria would be used in collecting data. That's what I told you before as methodology. In your methodology, the most important things are data collection technique and data analysis technique. Okay, so um, that's what you're going to write yeah, for the seminar. So first, decide your topic. But before deciding your topic, you must explore the possibility of different literary works. And a uh, very specific note would be given to movie, right? Movie is especially not literary work. Yeah. Movie is a cultural work. It's a, a multimedia product. It's different from uh, literary works. So do not say that movie is a literary work. That's not true. Movie is more complicated. When you try to produce a movie, then you must um, prepare many complicated things before you really come to the final product of a movie. But literary works are more uh, simpler, simpler than a uh, movie. Literary works uh, written texts, okay? So all written texts in American literature, all written texts are literary works, including biography, letters, okay? Emails, okay? That's in American literature. But in British literature, literary works include fiction, poetry, and play, okay? Fiction, poetry, and play. And again, I, that's up to you. The most important thing is to, to to support your choice by uh, using a particular reference. For example, you uh, choose to write about uh, a biography. First of all, you must find definition of literature that includes biography as a literary work, then you go to, to American literature, not British literature. Because in British literature, or literature in general, then biography is not a literary work. But in American literature, biography is a literary work. That's another interesting uh, topic of discussion, actually, in Asmin. Okay, after this, deciding your topic, after exploring various types of literary works, including movies, then you decide the element of the story. A movie is actually a, a multimedia art. It's a performance art. Um, it's not like literary works in general, novels, drama, and, um, poems, uh, or poetry. When you 
want to analyze a novel, what you need to do is to read. Reading the novel, reading the short story, reading the... If you want to analyze uh, poetry, then my suggestion is not to stick a piece of poetry or a poem, right? At least a collection of poems, okay? Do not just use a poem of uh, three or four stanzas and each stanza consists of eight to nine lines. That's not enough. At least a collection of poems. What about songs? Songs can also be used as an object of research, but the lyrics, not the music, not the tones, the lyrics. The lyric should be explored too, because not all song lyrics are literary in nature. On this particular song lyrics are literary in nature. So choose, I think, um, the most literary lyric that you can analyze. If you are confused about how to choose this song lyric or about um, other types of literary works, then you may consult me or other lecturers. Okay, so the topic is, is uh, you know, very, very important. It's very important for you to take a very careful consideration before you decide the topic of your seminar and of your research in the future. So the topic of your seminar is uh, your topic of your research in the future as well. Such gatherings are usually interactive sessions where the participants engage in discussions about the delineated topic. So interactive. The nature of our classes would be interactive. So the meaning of interactive here is do not wait until someone finishes a presentation. You may ask a question, you may interrupt the presentation if necessary. You may raise a hand here. Just click this, the picture of hand, and then you say something. Uh, you may ask a question, or you may interrupt to, um, to give suggestions or whatever. That's interaction, interactive session. Do not wait until uh, you are asked to ask a question. That's very funny, right? In a seminar, uh, students uh, uh, wait. Student, students wait to be asked. Okay, I'm going to ask you to ask question. That's very funny. Do not wait until I ask you to ask questions, right? So ask a question because it is your need. Okay? Asking question is your need. You need to learn. You need to understand more about the topic. You need to clarify your friend's statements. You need to hear, to listen to argument why your friend said things this way or that way. Okay? So, interactive session. Um, the linear topic, so the topic would be announced Okay, at least a week before or two weeks before, before the presentation. So everyone, every student has um, preparation to, to be active, to be interactive in the next session or in the next presentation. The sessions are usually edited or led by one or two presenters who serve to steer the discussion along the dessert path. And in this case, I'm going to lead the discussion, okay? So I'm going to lead the discussion all this month. In the group, in the WhatsApp group, there are 30, how many members? Yesterday I, let me check. Um, 
let me check. Okay, about 40 or more, I don't know. Um, 39, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 48. Oh, great. 48 students. Um, this is the problem, right? 40 students, and we, uh, we have about 14 weeks, 14 meetings. Um, my suggestion is do not wait until you run out of time okay so prepare yourself sooner and prepare your proposal more quickly and you would be able to present your paper early okay i'm going to present my paper later later and later and later then then and if time runs out then there is no more chance for you to present your paper and you know if you have not presented your paper then you know what happens with your grade right the maximum grade that you get if you do not present your paper is i think c and c is not a happy ending for you right? Is that right? Are you going to be happy if you got C um, from this class? No, sir. No, Ronnie. Riska, are you happy with C? Great. That is here, Riska. Are you here? Yes, sir. Are you happy with C or B? No. I'm happy with B, sir, but I'm not happy. Uh when I got a D or C. Okay, you are happy with B, right? Okay. Yes. But you'll be happier if you get A, right? Yeah, if you want to get A, then just follow the definition, right? So understanding definition is just like what I told you just now. Understand every word of the definition. You want to be successful in uh, this class seminar, first decide your topic, the topic that really interests you, the topic that you are passionate with, topic that you like very much. Do not decide a topic that you do not like, just following your friends, for example. If your friends Take movie, then you take movie too. That's not a good idea. So ask yourself, what is your passion? What is you like most? Okay. Oh, I like novel. Yeah. Go ahead. Try to find a good novel. Okay. My friend would write about um, Shakespeare's works. I'm going to write about Shakespeare's works too. That's not a good idea. Be yourself. Choose your own literary work. Okay? Because different students would have different passions, different preferences. You must decide your own preference. Okay? That's it, really. But, you know, the success of your Mina and also the success of your scripts would be very much dependent upon this first step. State your topic, decide your topic. Okay, decide the topic, a topic which is your real passion, which is your real preference. You like the topic very much. You have knowledge, you have background knowledge about the topic, okay? You have already learned about the story, for example. You like the story, you really understand the story. The story contains elements that you try to analyze, for example, feminism. If you want to 
do research on feminism, then there are two important elements that should be there in the story. Okay, first, there should be discrimination for women, and there is struggle among women to get equality in the rights. Okay. So when you decide a story of a movie and you want to analyze feminism aspects, then make sure it contains the two aspects, discrimination among women and struggle. Is that clear to you? Okay, let me give you another illustration for you. You want to analyze, for example, educational values or moral values. This, this topic is also popular among students, right? Moral values, educational values. First, you must understand what is meant by educational values. Okay, educational values. And to understand educational values, you must have a standard reference. And my suggestion for educational values references, you read Likona's book, right? Likona's book, book by Likona. Okay, okay let me show you the book. Uh, this is important why I, this is popular, that's why I try to show you how click on uh, the right the book, okay. Okay, and this is the standard reference of your um, study on character education or educational values in general. Educating for character. How are schools and teach respect and responsibility by Thomas Likona. It's a 1991 book, but it's very, very important book in understanding character education or educational values. Okay, the book consists of 588 pages. <laughs> 588 pages. So it's very, very, um, it's very important for you to, if you want to, to write or do research on educational values or character educational values or character education of a certain literary work and to read this book because this is the standard reference okay um What about moral values? Moral values, um, moral values are um, originated from different sources. Okay, so do not just say I'm going to analyze moral values in general. No, moral values originate from different sources. You might rely on the moral values, the values of morality. So in general, moral is defined as a state of being good or bad, right? Good or bad from a particular uh, point of view. So the point of view, the perspective, would be different if, for example, you use religious values, religious teaching as the standard for moral values from, say for example, social values or traditional values. So the moral values of uh, 
traditional Japanese culture would be different from the moral values of a particular religious teaching or religious institution. So when you try to analyze moral values, then first decide what point of view of the moral values you are going to analyze. Religion, ethics, culture, tradition, education. So, because they have their own moral values. What is good in religion is not always good in tradition. What is good in tradition is not always good in religion. There might be a contrary situation when a value of tradition, traditional value is confronted to a religious value. Okay? That's how to understand moral values. So when you decide to a topic about moral values, then you must beforehand decide what point of view you are going to take. Whether what you mean by moral values here is religious moral values or ethical moral values, cultural moral values, traditional moral values. Okay? Because they're different. There might be um, universal moral values, but it's more or less cultural, not religious. Educational moral values are also different from country to country, from nation to nation. But culturally speaking, when we talk about human beings as a, a unity, then we have shared common universal moral values. But for that, you must have a strong and good reference. So this is an example of a reference for uh, character educational values or educational values as your focus of your analysis. Okay? Well, um, any questions from me anyway? Aninda? Okay, Ronnie. For the topic, it is we are allowed to choose between teaching and literature. Yeah, of course. Of course. For example, what, Ronnie? For example, when we are there is a topic about teaching in a school with some kind of method and the other one is kind of analyzing uh, like your example about feminism. Okay, but again, it's uh, you must consult teacher first, right? If you want to... Okay, there, there was uh, an example I, I consulted last semester. A student wrote about how English language teachers use literary materials in their teaching activities. Okay, uh, let me show you the report. Okay, let me find the report. This is it. Okay, this is an example of a thesis. It is a combination between language teaching and literature. The topic is a case study of teaching English language by using literary materials at SMK for Richard Carter. Okay, Ronnie, can you see the screen? Yes, sir. Yeah, this is a case study because um, the research was done at a particular school, okay, SMK for Jukia Carter, and it was done among four or five teachers only. That's why it is called a case study. Okay? But if you 
your respondents, for example, included all teachers in Yogyakarta City, for example, it might not be study, it might uh, not be uh, without the case study. It's okay. But since it's very limited, then there is a word case study here. Case study is usually for a very limited uh, number of respondents. But the, this topic is a combination between English language teaching and literary materials. Okay? That's okay. I mean, um, and this, this, this kind of research is very useful for you for your future uh, profession as an English language teacher. I consulted this with uh, Mia. Adria, okay. I'm the first. I was the first consultant, and we'll Mia Adria the second consultant. Okay. Of course, there are examples of research uh, combination between um, literature and. Uh, linguistics, for example. Uh, let me show you another example of the research. And this is analysis of electionary acts made by the main character of Angel and Human's movie. This is combination between linguistics, electionary acts, is uh, so, uh, Linguistic things, electricity. And in linguistic studies, in linguistic research, then we know that from corpus, the corpus is the systematic data. And the data of the linguistic expressions are found in the movie, in the story, in the movie. So it's also possible for you to analyze a uh, story. So again, I, I'd like to remind you then, when you analyze a movie, then your object of analysis is the story. Okay, the story, not the movie, the story of the movie. Let me show you chapter three, for example, methodology. This will be very important for you also this is chapter two. Um, source of data. The data of the research were utterances by the character in the movie. So the data were utterances expressions in the movie. So it's very, very focused, not the movie in general, but the data the student tried to collect were very limited on the sentences, expressions that the character used in the story. The source of data was a movie transcript, okay? movie transcript. Okay, so again, it's it's not movie, but the transcript. Because if you analyze a movie, you can analyze uh, many more things, many more aspects of the movie. For example, the, how the movie, the, the scenario was written, how the movie was produced, how the uh, production, the shooting activities, the special effects, and so on and so forth. There are many things about me. But in uh, literary research, when you take a movie as an uh, object of research, and you must focus not on the movie, but on the story. And the story is then limited on the transcript. OK. Uh, Oh, can you see the text? 
Uh, no, sir. No, no, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. I played my this blank. I'm sorry. Okay, let me let me repeat this. Let me find another. This one. This is student different. Oh, format. Okay. Okay. Okay, can you see it? Yes, yes sir. Yes, yes. Well, yes I can see it. Made by the main character of Angel standing on this movie. So this is combination between linguistics and literature. So Electus in React belong to linguistics and story, the story, not the movie, the story, especially the text, the translate belongs to literature. Okay. Uh, Um, okay, um, this is, I'm, I'm going to show you how students uh, write their thesis. Actually, I, I, I've, I've already corrected this thesis with the bachelor's thesis. The thesis is too general, OS1. Bachelor, bachelor's degree. So the thesis should be a bachelor's thesis because you have also uh, S2 thesis and graduate thesis. That's the difference. A student uh, sometimes, um, I don't know what's going on in their mind, but you know, uh, this happens more, more frequently. Yes. Um, So it is possible for you to write a combination between language teaching and literature, and also between linguistics and literature. Because literature is, is very universal, okay? Literature is very universal. Okay, any other comments or questions for me? No? Okay, uh, I think, uh, yes. What about this week? You try to explore references, literary works, movies, and so on and so on. And then by um, Saturday, next Saturday, at the end of this week, and then you submit your topic, I think. Submit your topic by Saturday. I'm going to uh, make an announcement in the Sibida, right? After this. Is that okay with you? So Saturday, you submit your topic of your seminar as well as, as, well as your topic of your thesis or scripts. Is that okay? Uh, Saturday, next Saturday, you are supposed to submit your topic of your seminar paper. So not tomorrow Saturday, but next Saturday, right? Yes. Not right. next week, but this week. Because time uh, runs very quickly. Now we need 48 students, then we need 14, we have 13 weeks for 48 students. Um, four students in a week. Four students in a week for presenting their proposal. It will be 
I think this will be good. Okay. So four students. Oh, not four. But, but uh, maybe four and three. Okay, four and three students in a free meeting. Okay. And the presentation would be started, I think, in week four, right? Week four. This is first week. Next week for uh, consulting your topic. And the, the following week is for you to gather um, references. And the following week is for you to write your proposal. And in the fourth week, we can start the presentation. OK. Any question? Any? Yes, sir. Ideas? Yes. Oh, <laughs> Which, uh, I have you? Yes, sir. Yeah, do you want to ask a question? Yes. Uh, can we have uh, the article? the complete article because in this pandemic i can visit the library of usd okay i'm not sure this open or not yeah um i think uh, next week i'm going to explain about the proposal right so what should you write in the proposal what should you write in uh, the article the uh, seminar paper, seminar article, right? So next week I'm, I'm going to explain to describe everything. Is that clear? Uh, Ucha? So wait oh. until next week. Right? But meanwhile, you can look for an example in the uh, internet, right? Okay. But because if you go to a library, I think the library is still closed. So, and everything goes <laughs> down. There are, there are good examples, of course, in the Good papers also. You can, you know, for example, um, the, um, I'm going to show you. Okay. Um, when I when I try to look for papers, proceedings, minor proceedings, then I found this. Can you see? So just type here literature seminar proceeding of literary seminar articles. Then you would be given links such as conference proceedings, okay? national seminar proceeding on trends and issues in, in language, literature, and education, okay? Proceedings, ELL, So, say for example, we pick this. Okay. View or download. So, the proceeding is a collection of articles that have been presented in English language education as an conducted by English language education. Dharma as Haria faculty, which is hopefully about to enlighten the readers, the trends in English language literature. So, you can download this. Okay. Download this and try to explore 
the proceeding and you could the article as a reference at least as a comparison okay okay Ucha? yes thank you sir okay yeah um any other questions Yes, sir. Okay, please go. Uh, sir, I still confused about the mov movie in uh, literature. Uh, it has been mentioned, uh, movie is not literature, but it is a culture. So, uh, if asked to do research about the movie, uh, how do we dis uh, distinguish that or uh, different about the uh, it is a movie in literature or it is a movie and a culture, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, I'm going to show you an example of students who Okay, uh, this is an example, movie. Uh, the movie is the call of the wild, right? So the theory should be, the general theory should be three, right? movie, literature, and psychology, right? Movie, literature, and psychology, because the topic is the effect of motivation on the main character of the call of the world. So motivation is part of psychology. And the call of the wild is it's actually a, a novel, but the novel is also, has already been transformed in the movie. Right? The call of the wild was originally a novel. You know, almost 65% of movies are transformations of novels. That's why there is a very close relationship between movie and literature. The movie, movies are mostly inspired by literature. That's the connection. But movie is more complicated than literature. But again, you might, you might have the same idea about these two different parts, right? They have both themes. In fiction, in novel you have theme. In movie you have theme. In the theme you are going to analyze is motivation. Okay? Motivation. That's why your topic is the effect of motivation on the main character of the quality while in this life. So since you decide to take a movie, then you must understand movie. What is movie? So you must, uh, in chapter two, in part two, section two of your proposal, you must write about movie, the theory about movie, and come to the idea of theme, because in a movie there is a theme. The same thing also applies in literature, focus on fiction. In fiction, there is theme. So movie and literature is meets here in theme. Both movies and fiction have something in common that is theme. The theme of what? The theme of the story. The story of what? The story of a movie. The movie is called The Call of the Wild. And the theme you are going to analyze, the focus of analysis is motivation, not all the themes of the story. This is one example. Let me show you another example. The same um, a literature review, movie, literature, sociology. This is not psychology, but sociology, because the, the topic is feminism. Feminism is part of sociology. Okay? Feminism is part of sociology. It's a topic in sociology. This is also theme too. Okay? 
a movie and fiction have something in common theme and the theme is feminism and feminism is in Mulan movie. So I think this example helps you understand the relationship between movie and literature. Priska, is that clear? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so um, I try to to see to to build a bridge between movie and literature, and that's it. That's what I did to your friends, your your, your friends' researches, which I consulted last year. So the bridge is um, theoretical perspective between movie and literature. Because as I told you before, movie is not literary work. But still you can use movie as an object of analysis as long as it is limited on or to the story. And the story is limited to a focus and the focus is very, very specific. Okay? If you want to analyze the movie in general, then that is not literature. For example, you start from the writing of a scenario and up to the um, um, up to the editing and also marketing of the movie, that's not literature. That's cultural product, right? Because a movie is not a movie when it is not marketed. It is not um, launched to the public in general. Because movie is in general, commercial in nature, okay. very commercial in nature. Okay, uh, Priska. Any other questions? Well, I think um, time is over. We are going to see you again next week, but I'm um, sorry, maybe I'm not at 7.30. What about at nine? What do you think? Are you free on at nine? On when, sir? Nine, yes. Nine, what day? The same day. Monday? Uh, yes. At nine. I'm free. Yes, sir. Okay. Aminda, are you free? Yes, sir. I'm free. Okay. Okay, because uh, seven thirty program already run this um, semester, so I'm sorry for the change in meeting time from seven thirty to nine. Okay. So okay. beginning from next week, we are going to meet at nine. Okay. Thank you. And um, this week, uh, I. I'd like to remind you again to 